Hey, Mark Nelson. Today, I want to answer the question, how do you start believing? And where this is coming from is that I'm in the One Funnel Away Challenge, and this is the pre-One Funnel Away four-week challenge. So this is all about belief, generating your belief. And today was our first day of high school, and I see this all the time. But how do you start believing in yourself? And see, if you can believe yourself, that believe in yourself, that is the biggest and strongest and best achievement you probably ever achieved. See, the human people, human people, human beings, we're really a funny species. See, I don't know, we have a lot of limiting beliefs, a lot of things that have happened to us in our life that all of a sudden we just are saying it's true. You know, and I battle it, you battle it. For me, it came from, uh, a sibling kept telling me I, I, he was sarcastic and he, he knew he really didn't mean anything by it, but he kept saying I wasn't good enough, kept teasing me, kept doing this. And I took that internally for the longest time that I wasn't good enough to where some big things that I was on the cusp of achieving and it just wouldn't happen because I believed I wasn't good enough. So how do you get past that? Have you ever had belie limiting beliefs? Have you ever had anything really hold you back? See, here's what I need to do. One, and what you need to do is surround yourself with people that believe in you, but uh, surround yourself with people who are trying to accomplish the same goal you are, because all they're gonna do is cheer you on. And then you need to start saying positive things to yourself. I am good enough. I have value. I am worthy. These these thoughts are going to continue to come in your head. They always do because we're human beings. We're out in the human nature. If Lord be, if you listen to the news, we all start thinking of we're limiting beliefs because people are coming at us all over the place. You need to get that stuff away. And every time a limiting belief comes in, every time a limiting belief comes in, you need to say just the opposite. See, in school, and this is talking about teachers. We're talking a brand new subject. We're in a book and we're all laughing because it's like we're reteaching ourselves. And then there's that doubt, am I ready? Of course we're ready. So we gotta throw that doubt out of there and say, we got it. Because we know, we've studied enough, we know what we're gonna do. So if you are trying to accomplish something, and it doesn't matter if you're in business, in your life, and this doubt starts sneaking into your life, this doubt starts sneaking in, you just gotta kick it out and say, I am worthy. If you believe in the universe or in God, say, you are a son of God. I say that all the time. You are blessed. You are an anointed one. You got to keep telling yourself how good you are and keep squashing, squashing those ideas. So I hope that helps. Man, I believe in you. If nobody else says they believe in you, I believe in you. Man, if you would like to get into one of the most amazing groups on Facebook. Write group down below. Because we're an affiliate marketing group. It's called Affiliate Marketing Success with Mark. I'm gonna change the name to Affiliate Marketing Success for Entrepreneurs. And we encourage people all the time. So if you would like to get in a great group and not only help yourself but help other people, put group down before, I'll send you the link. You gotta answer three simple questions just to keep some people out because we're not trying to do anything. Tomorrow is link day. You can put your own link in there. But put group down below. Come in this group and help us out. Help us raise people to their level. Help us teach people how good they are. So you start believing in you. In you. You start believing in you. Put group down below. Peace out. You take care. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.